Now, the elections in Burma are neither free nor fair, according to one of the parliamentary candidates. In her first public speech in months, Aung San Suu Kyi accused the governing party in Burma of a campaign of intimidation and violence. She is expected to win her seat in Sunday's parliamentary by-elections. But the question is how many other members of her National League for Democracy will join her? Our Asia correspondent John Sparks reports from Burma. The queue formed up in the early morning hours outside the gates at 54 University Avenue. We waited our turn, then shuffled through this famous spot in Rangoon where Aung San Suu Kyi delivered defiant speeches. But her home is no longer a prison, and today it was all dressed up for the press. Well, I've got badge number 264, but there are a lot more people here than that. It's probably the best attended press conference in Burmese history. The world's best-known dissident is running in a by-election for a seat in the Burmese parliament, and the polls will open in two days' time. So how's she holding up? I have not been well lately. I'm feeling a little delicate, so any tough questions and I shall faint straight away. <laughs> it's not just a joke. The 67-year-old withdrew from her campaign tour last Monday after suffering from exhaustion and vomiting. <laughs> I'm ill, she told journalists. Today, Ms. Su Chi shared one particular anxiety with the world, that the by-election wouldn't be fair. She accused the ruling party, which has close ties to the military, of intimidation and thuggery. I don't think we can consider it a genuinely free and fair election if we take into consideration what has been going on for the last couple of months. But still, as we wish to work towards national reconciliation, we will try to tolerate what has happened. There are limits to Ms. Su Chi's democracy project, and established interests here will resist her. And she seems to carry the burden alone. But she's not the only Democrat in town. In this suburban Buddhist temple, student activists who rose against Burma's generals in 1988 are busy trying to politicize young people. What we had to do was like fighting in a war. It was a struggle. It's different for you. You can use politics to build our country. Grassroots activism like this may be Burma's best long-term hope, not the coming by-election. But even here, faith in Ms. Suu Kyi is absolute. Are expectations for Aung San Suu Kyi too high at the moment? Are they unrealistic? Don't think of her as an ordinary person when she's elected. She'll have far more power. If elected, she'll be expected to deliver. A worrisome consequence, this, for she's generated extraordinary expectations. John Sparks, Channel 4 News, Rangoon.